Hello together and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of a Supreme Jerk difficulty episode number 12 and still only to death. Uh, we are doing very well for ourselves. It is time to explore the depth of the Warrens and that's exactly what we're going to do today. So uh, join me as we are finding out what's down there potentially a couple of horror clowns and other stuff and hopefully old ramen noodles that we can still get hey there always good to see some friendly faces down here don't go near the cages though the little piggies are friendly, but they'll bite if they get spooked. Oh, don't mind the smell. Nothing some fragrant flower beds wouldn't fix. Only thing is, we ain't got any of those down here in the Warrens. <laughs> holy shit, it's, uh, shit, it smells in here. Not holy shit. Pig shit. <laughs> Thinks like the bowels of hell. Nothing much I can do about it, though. Need something to mask this fucking stink. Any luck of finding something to mask oh, the smell? No. I'd consider searching the deeper warrens, but it's not safe there. Can you tell us about the warrens? Yes, dug out by the monster army ages ago. The whole tunnel network used to belong to us. And from what I hear, we had some fun in there. <laughs> Nowadays, it's not safe. Something is roaming the deeper tunnels, so best to stay clear. Yup, pigs have been a part of the monster army and the... I will miss your scent. All right, so we got something to dig up here. Hey now, stay away from the cages. Do I have to keep telling you, don't touch the cages? Okay, we're not touching the cages, I get you. More booze and DJ rap. No, DJ rip, okay. I take it you're here for the giveaway contest. What giveaway? Good one. Everyone knows the DJ RIP show giveaway contest. Rules are the same as always. Just answer get the answer right, you get something awesome. Get it wrong, you still get something awesome. Just slightly less awesome. Ha, awesome! So, here for the contest. All right, all right, all right. We're live in three, two, all right, everybody! It's time for another round of DJ RIP, believe it or not. We have some new faces for you today. Hey, introduce yourselves to our audience. <laughs> We're the Rangers. The Rangers of Colorado! Get ready for the question, but first, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, the fabulous Chick Flicks Theater. Come see their shows, come again, then leave satisfied. Now, your question. In the year 1984, a giant marshmallow man attacked the city of New York. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not. <laughs> Well, in the movie, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if in this universe it actually happened. Uh, 1984. Was Ghostbusters 84? <laughs> well, in a movie, yes, but I, I don't know how to answer that question. We're not believing Correct. it. Correct! The giant marshmallow man was fictional, folks. No matter how many times he pops from the movies into my nightmares. <laughs> anyway, here is your reward, fine folks. And for our listeners, this one is for all you sinners out there. All right, fantastic. Now, it used to be a fine place. DJ R.I.P. You said some creepy shit going on around here, though. All right. Fabulous. So what did we win? We got a utility. Weird signs. That can only mean you're taking that. And what does it do? Sonic emitter, a portable device that emits a loud burst of uh, sonic en energy, temporarily deliberates the sense of organic hu uh, hostiles. So it applies stunned. Well, that's not bad. That's actually quite good. He was right. It is quite good. Let's uh, give you the glasses. Doesn't matter that you don't need survival, but that's better than nothing. Whoa! That's shit. 
Sorry, you startled me. I'm a little on edge. Was kept up all night by laughter. Just creepy, high-pitched laughter coming from deep in the Warrens. What did that exploding pit get upstairs? I was just trying to do my job. Something started squealing outside the door, and I opened it to see what it was. Then this pig ran past me and went straight up the stairs, oinking like a wolf man had his arm up his ass. I don't know. Man, I don't know. It's not like the job training covers exploding pigs. You feel me, man? I don't know, man. This security door is staying locked now. First people start disappearing, and now this shit used to be safe down here. Flap asked us to investigate the warrants. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, he mentioned he was sending down a team. I thought there'd be more of you, though. Anyway, you're clear to go through. Good luck. Well, that's going to be very, very interesting, isn't it? Waste warmlings are already coming up. Okay. It's not going to be an easy journey, Saiken, but that was to be expected, wasn't it? Central. Hi, it's here. Uh, Murphy. Uh, begins to hide here as well. Hawkbite hides here. Lucia having the short range guns hides here. Quan, my good friend. There might be someone coming from here, so gotta be on our toes. For now, Quan is here. And we're here. Okay, cool. Listen, Murphy begins to pick out these worms. Uh, I could mark them, but we don't have enough AP to mark and shoot, so we're just going to shoot. That shot dearly missed. That shot did miss as well. And yeah. Well, sometimes uh, the 50 50s are great, sometimes they are not. Uh oh, explosive ball. I see. Well, we're reloading. One definitely needs a s another weapon. We need a second good weapon for that. might explode and as I figured there are potentially additional enemies I think they are coming from here Yep, not a big surprise. Oh wow, that on the other hand is a bit more of a big surprise. Lucia just got manhandled by that worm. Wow, Hawkbite is an absolute machine with that uh, melee weapon. We're going to continue, keep using that. Okay, Quan, great thing with that uh, crossbow, absolutely fabulous, like it, but I think we're just still keeping your assault rifle, because I can't afford that many bolts. <clears throat>
vehicle upgrade, a hood, a couple of crafting components, that's not bad either. Let's take a look at the truck. Money, money's always good. And more ammunition. So Hogbite with that massive weapon in his hand will be an absolute force to be reckoned with. Careful here. That looks like a nice ambush area. Silver coin. Pre-war coin, small enough to fit into anything. Okay. Lieutenant chuckles. Hey, knock knock. Uh, okay. I see how it is. Usable items. We are going to drink and open the door. Okay, wait. They do have picks. And that might be a bit of a problem. So, Quan. Moves over here, crouches. Do we have anything? Any automatic... Uh, any automatic de attacking devices? No. Sniper. Murphy. Goes there. Ramos. Goes there. Central, in the center. That's why he's called Central. Lucy. And we got Hogbite over here. And now let's do a bit of a smoke arena here. Use item. And use item. Cool. Exploding pig immediately is the prime target. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. How many AP is that? Five. Cool. Solid hit. Into just continuing to get that gal down. Oh, my lord. That's a lot of damage. Fantastic. Lucia. Moves to here. Hit that guy and hit him very well. Into the head. And another crit. Oh, she's doing an obscene amount of damage if she really hits. That's good. Sword rifle into his head, which is good. Nice little hit. Central follows by softening up the others. Very good. An explosive bolt. Into unfortunately a miss. Good. Oh, and there are 
a few more enemies. Uh, not good. We gotta get that hot dog uh, killed. Oh yeah, they are concealing us as well. Fantastic. All right, listen. Got a couple of good options here. For a starter, Quan, right? Nicely hits these two. Fabulous. And we can't hit the hot dog. But we can continue to hit any of uh, these guys. Um, I think the lieutenant chuckles. I do have an idea there. Hogbite potentially needs to go further in and get that hot dog down. Murphy's not quick enough, but Murphy could get the flaming tank down. If that thing, however, would explode, um, that'll be a problem. Lucia needs to get away there because the explosion would just not work uh, very much in our favor. Good, one hot dog less to consume. Hogbite moves to here. Try to get their animals, that would actually be nice. But we're just preparing for next round. Okay, so now, what I wanted to do is explode that tank. There you go. Work like a charm. Like an absolute charm. It's over. Marking and we're just taking one action point over to next turn. Lucia. Um, misses, but <clears throat> somehow hits at the same time. We're not hitting at least two, so that uh, grenade is not would be wasted. Quan, I think uh, we want that, and we got a light machine turret. That's a good start. Using the rest to reload and prepare for next round. Good. All right, Ramos. Fabulous. Fabulous. Just absolutely awesome. I need to take care of something other, uh, something completely different, but also awesome. Be right back. All right, back. So, Ramos. Could throw another grenade, but that would be overkill. Prepare, he's just missing that one AP, but I know how we could fix it by rallying everyone. And 
then exploding the nitrogen tank and Ramos is going to set a trap because if that hot uh, pig dog is coming close to us we cannot afford that Not exactly the one that I wanted to trap, but still very good. Very good. Fabulous. Let's get that hot pig down. One. Two. Crit for 300, holy. Moves to here. Fortunately, just can't reach the guy. Barely out of reach. And maybe if he explodes, we just don't want to stand there, so... Let's wait uh, there for a second. Good, there's one down. And we're almost, almost out of ammunition here. Gotta get that guy. Very nice hit, I like it. Continuing to shift over AP. I think Ramos... I uh, shouldn't have reloaded here. Should have just used uh, the other MG. That's why we have two, Saiken, that's why we have two. Marshal Kwon. Uses a couple of shots. Barely not hitting the mark. Which brings us to Central, who luckily finishes the guy. Ramos takes over the AP to next round, and we're down to one enemy. And someone in the background is down to their last nerf, so I need to do another small break. After all of our pets just took burning for no reason. Alright, let's finish this real quick. Shot, reload, another shot. And we are pretty much down. Pause for me. All right, so <clears throat> let's huddle up and see how our pets are doing. Major Tomcat isn't doing that well. So are a couple of our soldiers. I uh, should have potentially just went back and uh, healed the old-fashioned way. But it's okay. Ooh, nice! A level 9 submachine gun. That is exactly what I was hoping to find. Good old Central has been using the Scorpion for way too long. And we now got an Uzi. Fabulous. Good. More craft material. I can see also how 
how much more crafting material you're getting over time and just how much more resources so everything is becoming exponential well not exponential but it definitely rises quite fast ice block door well if that isn't an option for someone to crack it up I don't know what is but unfortunately that seems to not work pile of corpses all of them frozen another ice crack door we could get a pig but I think our wolf is better uh, that is a level 9 helmet damage versus animals increases not too bad some of you pendejos keep asking me what the fuck are we doing in this shithole it's simple see we're uh, gonna disrupt the market yeah the whole market with uh, the great joke <laughs> you know uh, bring this fucking place to a standstill gonna teach these cabrons how to laugh if we gotta kill them all to do it we'll be treated as liberators what I'm saying is we gotta destroy the bazaar in order to save it now get the fuck out of here I need some executive time with Senorita Puerca <laughs> need some executive time with Senorita Puerca okay I see how it is uh, I like the uh, Merc helmets, they are very good, but the Scout helmet isn't bad either. Crit chance 2% versus higher hit chance. Bit more perception. That's a good, that's a good helmet as well. Is there anyone who has a problem with hitting? Well, she could use it because she does have all of those trick shots, right? And we haven't even used uh, the sonic ed ed emitter. That could have gone much better. Repairing that computer. And powering it up. Computer agonizingly snow, it appears to be broken and rife with corrupt data. Text displays something called the monstrous prison block access temperature controls activate defrost systems nice ex prisoner locks okay well we know someone is behind that door and we got a level 10 rocket launcher yes baby that's exactly what i was looking for that is very much and exactly what i was looking for so heavy weapons guy could use that new rocket launcher which deals a tremendous amount of damage but we only got three ammunition so far so I have to wonder shall we just get that higher crit chance 3% is not bad but I think we're just putting that onto our sniper rifle speaking about which we got an attribute point giving, finally giving us more AP and we could get snipers leveled up which we're very much doing fantastic another attribute point and what are we going to do with her weird science is good but so is small arms right 
I'm not sure if I like survival yet. That seems to be a bit odd. But I definitely like weird signs. Uh, we already have seven, that's good. Might as well go for eight with uh, small arms and next level we're getting weird signs eight. Or we're getting small arms nine. Oh, that's a possibility as well. We are getting a lot of crafting recipes. Mysterious item requires a lot of junk. Ever since I realized that you can craft out of junk, I stopped throwing uh, the junk away. Nice little shrapnel grenade, but that costs us 120. No, that's not happening. What does Foam Finger uh, do? I don't know, man. Having a Foam Finger shows stats. Oh, Brawling Weapon. Nah, not happening. Yeah, okay, but before we're going any further, clearly there is more in this direction. Lock picking level 7. Oh boy, even more in this direction. Well, that was a good amount of ammunition. I like it. Need to upgrade our lock picking. The way that, that I see it, we're not meeting the minimum standards for this area here. And I hate leaving so much loot behind. Look at that. Yet another lock pick failure. How long until good old oh you're very close Ramos almost is there and lock picking yeah well let's say we will need a little bit longer uh, until he finally gets that level up And this here very much looks like the area where we find the clowns. All right, look, we're plenty in with this episode. I think it's another good breakpoint. If you find yourself wondering, uh, are we going to continue Wasteland 3? Wonder no further. Of course, the answer is yes. So far, it has been a fantastic game. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, if uh, you put a clown nose on that like button, it will squeak uh, whenever you press it. Just give it a try. Take care and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.